Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of DIY computer repair and upgrade videos. In this video, I have a Dell Inspiron 14 series laptop computer. The exact model number is a 3452, but it should work on any Dell Inspiron 14 as they're very similar. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to access your battery, your RAM, your Wi-Fi card, and your secondary hard drive area. If you have any questions or comments, as always guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It can save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do so. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Okay, so now let's get into the computer. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is make sure your computer is turned off, make sure the power cord is unplugged, and we're gonna remove the battery. The first thing you do in any computer repair is make sure it has as little power running through it as possible. That way we uh, don't risk damaging anything inside. Another great way to avoid damaging things, uh, as you can see, my computer is sitting on an anti-static pad right now. Um, either that or get yourself an anti-static bracelet, but any anti-static options like that are really good to make sure your computer um, has as little chance as possible of damaging anything once we get inside and start poking around. If you need any help, with any equipment like that or any tools that I'm gonna be using, there'll be a link up top in the screen. Uh, that'll take you to the store where you can see all of the things that I use in my shop. The next thing we do to get inside, we're gonna take off these two screws right here in order to get this bottom panel off. So we'll take our screwdriver, we'll take these screws off. Flathead screwdriver, that comes right off. Another quick suggestion for you guys when keeping track of your screws and your screw management, make sure you keep them separate from each other. Um, screws are not all the same size, the same width, or the same length in different parts of the computer. So make sure you know where your screws go so that when you're reassembling your computer, you can put them back in the correct spot. One quick suggestion, this is what I used to do when I started computer repair. Um, sometimes I'd write sticky notes, battery screws, bottom case screws. That way I could keep my screws separate from each other. So here you have a hard drive space right here where you can put in an additional hard drive. You have your Wi-Fi card and your RAM card. I'll zoom in a little more and show you how to take these out. So laptop RAM, this is very common how it looks. It's held in by two metal spring-loaded arms that hold it in like this. So all you've got to do is pry apart these arms and the RAM should just pop up like that. And then you would just slide it out. So that's your RAM stick. And as you can see, it's a long port, short port. So you can't put it in this way. It's got to go in this way. So to put it back in, you'd simply put it in the port and then snap it down like that. Over here you have your Wi-Fi card. It's held in by one screw with two antenna wires in it, just like most laptops. So to get these antenna screws up, we're going to pop up each antenna wire with a plastic pry tool. Then we're going to unscrew the one screw holding it down. And the Wi-Fi card pops out like that. And oftentimes you have to take out the Wi-Fi card to continue into the computer. As you can see, it's screwed into the bottom case there. To reattach your Wi-Fi card, you'd slide the new one in, you'd screw it back down, and then these antenna wires, they're just snaps. So as long as you have them in the correct port, we're just going to put that down over where it goes and snap it into place. You can hear it snap. We'll put the black one down, snap it into place. And that's how you would install the Wi-Fi card. So that's our video, a nice simple partial teardown video. Again, check out the FAQs below if you need to. Leave me a comment if you need to. I do try to address those as often as possible. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.